Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler Fikes. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Today, this is gonna be a very different pace video than what we usually do in terms of what vehicle we are working on. Usually it's more trucks, bikes, and bigger, more off-road vehicles. Today, we have a 2012 Honda Accord, and you can see the issue with it. It's got a big old hole in the bumper. So I'm going to be replacing the bumper with the bumper inside of this box and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it and I will link paint apart down below where I got this bumper. You can check out their website if you need any replacement panels or parts or fender flares or anything of that nature. Put in your year make and model and then they show you everything they have for it or you can search for a specific part such as a rear bumper and they paint it, you give them your paint code, they color match it to your vehicle, to what your OEM vehicle was painted as if you give them the paint code. It might not be perfect due to sun fading. So let's say he's been sitting out in the sun since 2012, it's now 2023. The paint might not be as shiny as it was in 2012. So that is where we can account for some differences, but it is the OEM paint that your vehicle came with. So if it's well taken care of, such as been waxed and garage kept, things of that nature, it'll be closer. If your vehicle's paint is pretty sun faded, it's gonna be a little off, but that is to be expected. So first things first, we're gonna open up the box and check out the new bumper. All the tools you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, an offset Phillips screwdriver will really help if you have one, a 10 millimeter socket, an accompanying wrench. And if you do not have one of these, it's not a big deal, but a set of these little pullers will really help. We're gonna have to take some pins out. So now we have confirmed that it is the right one and it's in pretty good shape. We are going to set it off to the side as to not get damaged. And now we can't do much else without getting the old bumper off first. So you're going to want to pop the trunk and down in here there should be two plastic covers. One of them's missing. You're going to want to pop those out with something like a flathead screwdriver and then take a 10 millimeter socket and remove these two bolts and set them off to the side because you will reuse these later. Assuming you have both of the tabs, also set those to the side with the bolts that you just took out. Next, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver or a screw gun, whatever you want to use. I'm gonna be just using a screwdriver so I don't strip anything. You're gonna to wanna to go to both sides. There's gonna be three screws right along this back panel that you're gonna to wanna to take out. The bottom one's gonna be a little tricky. If you pull the fender or the bumper towards the outside, towards you, it's gonna move it away from that tire a little bit. And you can absolutely do this without removing your tire, jacking the car up, anything like that but pulling it out is gonna make it a little bit easier on you. Or if you have an offset like this, it'll be extremely easy as well. Once you get these three screws removed, set them to the side. I'm gonna keep them in the same orientation that they came out. They do all look about the same, but just to be safe, put them all in the same orientation and they all go back into their same holes. Once those three screws are removed, you're just gonna pull this back end until you get to about the tail light and then repeat the process on the other side. Again, set these three screws to the side. The top one is a little different. The bottom two are the same. I'm keeping them in the same orientation so they go back in the same hole they came out of. Next, if you have some kind of clip tool, it's gonna to make your life a lot easier. If not, you can use one or two flathead screwdrivers and get these clips off with minimal effort. You're gonna to have to get down on the ground and slide your head under the bumper. There are two tabs that pull out as such. Again, set those to the side because you will reuse them later. They're just these little clips. If you break them, you can find them pretty cheap on Amazon, so it's not a big deal. And now the bumper comes off and is ready for the garbage. Now to reinstall, we're basically gonna do the same exact thing, just working backwards. 
So get your bumper in the orientation, it will be on the car. If you want, you can take the time to clean underneath here. There's definitely a lot of crap that hasn't seen the light of day in the last 11 years. As you can see, to get it back on, if you did it from the same place I got mine, it might help if you have a second person. If you don't, it's no big deal. You're just gonna have to kind of work this around the car on your own. So stretch it out, get it into place, and kind of work it back towards the car. This bumper is pretty flexible, so it shouldn't be too hard. But again, if you had a second person to kind of hold one side in, it might make things easier. You can see where these pins are going to go. So if you just smack some of them in, that'll remove your need for a second person. One side is kind of held while you work the other side and get it in as well. Once you get it somewhat into place, you're going to want to put these two pins back underneath. I'm having a bit of a difficult time getting the last clip snapped over there. So what you can do for that is reinstall these two bolts to kind of help suck it down to the car. Once you get everything lined up and all the pins pushed in, put the bolts on and then you can come back here, put the screws in on both sides and then you will be good to go. So I'm gonna cut out here and just show you guys the finished product. All right, and just like that, the bumper is done. The trickiest part is definitely pushing the new one back on and getting all those little pins to fit into place, especially if yours comes in a box like that where it was all folded up on itself. It was a little hard to get it unfolded and not want to retain that shape that it's been in for however long and kind of fit back onto the car because it does go up the panels on the side. But once you get all that done, push the little pins in, put all the little screws in, it's good to go. And it looks a whole lot better, obviously, without a big hole in the bumper. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope I helped somebody figure out how to take their bumper off or put a new one on. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Again, if you're looking for some paint match parts to your vehicle, I will link paint apart down below. If this video is helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. For more related car, truck, and bike content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and until the next one, see you later. And here is a quick close up of the body lines. It goes together very well and the paint is almost exactly the same. Even with the sun fading, looks pretty darn good.